Well, that's been the best performance and the best game, I think, so far this season against possibly the worst side we've seen in the Championship for a number of years. But you can only beat what's put in front of you. And today, there were a number of individual performances, but on a whole, the whole team performed out of their skins and provided us with some great entertainment. And four, four goals uh, in a game, which has been fantastic. Something we've been waiting for as well, for us to really, really beat a team. And today was the day I thought we came out of the blocks really, really well. Goal really early on from Jota, being put through uh, from Cavaliero and he didn't look for a second as if he was going to miss. A fantastic, confident finish from a confident player who's at the top of his game at the moment. And then the second goal came shortly after from a free kick. Ruben Neves hit, fumbled a bit by Stephen Bywater and then Sice was there to tap it home. That was all in the first 10 minutes, so a fantastic start to the game. I felt then that Wolves went a little bit flat for the remainder of the first half, really. Uh, Burton probably had most of the possession, didn't really threaten a couple of long range efforts and a couple of corners and things like that that caused us a little bit of worry, but they didn't really look like scoring to be honest. Then as the first half was drawn to an end, a fantastic individual goal from Ruben Van Agre, the young 18 year old I thought today was his best game that he's had for the club. Uh, going forward, he's really skillful, really exciting young player and again, Cavalier involved, little one two there with him, and cutting in and off his right and left foot, uh, Vinagre before slotting it home. A great finish, a uh, great goal uh, to make it 3 0 at half time. Uh, the main difference I thought in the first half from previous games that we've seen is the inclusion of Helder Costa. His ability to run the ball forwards from the edge of our 18 yard box to the opposition's 18 yard box is what led to the free kick that uh, we scored from for the second goal. Uh, and his power as well on the ball, he doesn't look like anybody's going to knock him off. Whereas, you know, he's a different player on the ball to Jota. They're both very good dribblers, but. Costa to me looks like an absolute beast uh, and hopefully he's going to continue in that vein of form now as he m carries on gaining his fitness. So second half then, uh, Wolves in complete control, there were never any threat at all from Burton in the second half and again a lovely goal, well worked, good play and again Cavaliero putting the ball in for Bonatini to score making it 4-0 and then the rest of the game very, very easy for Wolves, very comfortable. Could have been five sites hitting the post uh, near the end of the game. And it did look as if every time Wolves came forward that they were going to make something happen and score. And to me, it was uh, a result that we needed. We did need to really beat a team. And particularly after Wednesday and uh, the disappointment in that game against Sheffield United, to come back and to play so well and score goals, I think was very, very needed. And then the next game will be a big game against Aston Villa at home. I was five on a Saturday on television, our first game on Sky this season. So it's a lot to look forward to over the next couple of weeks. Uh, Manchester City game as well coming up in uh, the end of October. But hopefully we can build on this now. We're in second place, but it's still really early to look at the table. Again, I think all we need to be looking at is our sort of average points per game. And we're averaging now at just over two points a game, which is fantastic. And if we can keep that up for as long as we can, we'll maintain this promotion push. Let me know who you thought today's man of the match should be. Personally, Cavaliero with three assists, but I really liked Ruben Van Agre today. I thought he really stood out on that left-hand side and his individual goal was superb. Let me know down below who you thought stood out today if you went. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.